Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So we're going to continue the mini carvings we've been working on. Um, we're gonna, you know, we've been working on carving stuff that was like anywhere from two inches to like four inches lately. Uh, what did we do? We did owls on some bigger pieces. We did a bear. We, uh, we, we've done a bunch of stuff. If, uh, if you haven't been following and you're just tuning in, you can go to the playlist area here on my channel and you can find the uh, mini carving tutorial playlist. I've also got a regular chainsaw carving tutorial playlist. So when you hit subscribe, you guys can hit that playlist, hit like to it, and you'll get the tutorials that I've been working on. Now, I was asked, can we do something for Valentine's Day as that's coming up? And uh, I said, yeah, that's a good idea. So today we're going to work on carving up some mini hearts. I'm going to go ahead and carve one heart with you guys. We'll, uh, we'll use the battery-operated chainsaw. It's just something I've been using. You guys don't need a battery-operated chainsaw. You can use your gas saw. I do recommend a saw, though, that's running the 43-gauge chain. Um, if your saw runs 50-gauge chain, you might have a little more trouble because these are small carvings. And you cannot just take 43 off and put 50 on, okay? Your saw has to be set up for 43 gauge chain. Normally, the smaller saws are already set up for that. You know, like your MS-170, your 180. I believe my 193 is 43 gauge. The battery saws, 140, 160, the 200, they've got 43 gauge chain. If you're not sure if your saw has 43 gauge chain, look at the bar. And here on the bar, it'll say 0.43. All right, so the other tool we're gonna be using today will be a die grinder, all right, with a quarter inch shaft, half inch flame burr, flame bit from Sabertooth Tools. This is the coarse bit, so if you go look for one, they're green, okay? They're the green bits from Sabertooth Tools. Also, don't wanna make you guys wait to the end of the video. If you go to sabertooth.com and use code Hall 10. I'll have it popping up right here. Hall 10. You guys will get a discount. That code is good until the end of February 2020. Okay. So just want to put that out there for uh, for those of you that are buying tools and all that good stuff. Go right there. Purchase that. Now, I will also be looking for those on Amazon to put down below because once that code runs out, you guys can buy the tools through Amazon. They help support the channel. And I'll have links to things I'm using in this video or I've used in the past that I use often for carving. Again, you guys purchase through the Amazon links. They help support the channel. I really do appreciate it. Wow, this has got to be the longest intro I think I've ever done. On top of that, been working on the members program, okay? We're doing tutorials, helping you guys out here. But I've also started a members program. You guys can buy me a cup of coffee. Was it like a buck ninety-nine? You sign up, buy me a cup of coffee a month. I do appreciate it. I really do. We've got a couple people on there already, and you know what? It's awesome to just see that kind of support, see how much you guys really appreciate uh, the videos and the things that I'm doing. I've also got a couple guys on there considered the big fan. You know, they, they pay a little more a month, and uh, they're just helping the channel, and I really, really, I mean, I appreciate that. I really, really do, and so if that's something you're interested in, go there, check it out. I'm still trying to work out the kinks. Hopefully, we can... Uh, we can get some better tutorial videos specifically for the members. Um, it won't be the two tiers that are available though. I wanna be able to do more in-depth tutorial videos, start to finish 100% kind of stuff or just Q&A sort of uh, carvings for, for people paying for it. Um, one last thing before we get started on this project, I'm thinking about doing a uh, class in the spring, uh, maybe through Zoom. We'll spend probably two hours together, give or take. Um, the idea is to carve a bear start to finish, maybe something in that two foot range. And, uh, you know, it, there, there'll be a fee, a one-time fee for that. And uh, we, can, we can do a class, I'll carve, and you guys can be carving at the same time and can kind of give you some direction and, and walk you through it and work together to get your, your bear looking similar to the bear that I'm creating. So if that's something you guys are interested in, uh, you know, comment down below. I might even put a poll up in the uh, community section here on YouTube. So go there, you know, uh, sort of a would you be interested in a Zoom class poll for X amount of dollars kind of thing to, uh, to see how many people really would be interested in that sort of one-on-one uh, -on -one teaching carving kind of thing. So, you know, you guys let me know. It's, it's, it's all about you guys. It really is. A lot of people want to uh, learn and get better at their craft and at their skill. And honestly, 
I don't know it all. Um, I, and I say that as honest as I can. I don't know it all. I am not the top carver. I'm not the best carver. But I really do enjoy helping you guys learn to carve. I really do enjoy showing you the techniques that I know or that I'm learning as I go. The tools that I'm using um, and just encouraging you guys that want to learn to carve to, uh, to just do it and, and go for it, you know. Uh, safety is always the biggest thing, but you just don't know until you try, you know. You might start carving and, and hate it, and that's all right. Enjoy the videos I've got and uh, be entertained, right? So I think I've done enough talking. We've already wasted six minutes, and if you're still here, thanks for sticking around. You rock. So if you are still here, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. And uh, let's, let's, let's start a little mini heart for Valentine's Day. Well, if you guys have been following the mini carving series, you know I got a camera set up on the chainsaw here. If you guys are carving, I'm sorry. I know the, the tarps are loud. It is, it's cold out here today. So I had to be under the tents that are outside. And, and that's driving me nuts. So it's probably driving you nuts. But we got a camera here right on the saw for that first person view. And uh, today we're looking at about a three inch log. So it's about three inches across, okay? Roughly the same size that I used here for this mini heart. Now we're gonna go ahead and carve a heart up, clean it up, and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to follow along and do the same. Make sure your saw is sharp. Safety chaps, steel toe boots, pair of gloves. If you're running a gas saw, ear protection all right it's even a good idea to wear it with these the only reason i'm not in the videos is because i can't really like hear myself think and talk i want to be you know able to be coherent with you guys um same thing with the power tools you're running these power tools carbon earmuffs dust mask all right guys safety gear is important so make sure you're doing that now let's see here i'm gonna make sure this camera is set up so you guys can see what i'm doing First thing we really want to do is find the center of this log. Don't mind the heart on top. It was to remind me that's what this log was for. Mine's frozen. All right, so rough center. Now I'm going to just kind of put a line on the opposite side of center. All right, you got to figure out how wide you want that. I honestly want about an inch and a half wide heart. Okay, and I want it to be about as big as the one I already did. So the plan is going to be cut a line all the way around. All right, and then we're going to make some cuts down. So I know that's how far down I want to cut. Now we're going to just cut straight down to that line. Okay, now I'm going to use the top side of my bar. You can use the bottom or the top side. You have a little more control with the bottom, but gas saws might choke out depending on the angle. Cut these off. Do your best to not do a crazy overcut, okay? Because we need the meat down here to hold this heart together. So... If you've got yourself a wood crayon or a pencil, now is a good time to uh, draw the rough shape of your heart on there. Now remember, it can't go super pointy, okay? You gotta have enough meat that it's gonna hold your heart together. You know? You're gonna have a sturdy heart. Life's tough, have a sturdy heart. All right, okay, rough shape, right? I just need a rough, rough shape here. So I want to do my angle, actually, you know what, I want to kind of cut a wedge or a V on the top first. I have found it's easier and it's better to do all your upper cuts before you get this thing down super narrow because it'll tend to break off if your saw grabs. So let's angle cut away these corners on both sides. Round the top of your heart. Kind of. Use the nose of that guy. 
use the nose of that bar. Let's do our angle cuts down. Try not to make too big of an overcut. Okay, let's cut these sections away. Don't overcut there, you overcut and hit the bottom of that heart and it's just gonna start getting flimsy on you. Cool beans. Look at that guys, quick, quick heart, right? So the bottom is usually more narrow than the top. At this time, I'm using the nose to clean this up. Now you could just switch to your die grinder with your burr, but I mean, these small carvings are about control, okay? I said it in other videos. We're working our forearms, our biceps, our chest, your legs, your back, your shoulders. You really are. It's like a mini workout every time you carve. And if you're doing a ton of little carvings in a day, by the end of the day, your muscles should hurt. And uh, when you get into bigger carvings, your muscles will be ready to go. Now, it is a good idea, you know, you should stretch out before you start carving and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, we're not here for a workout video though, right? Anyway, we gotta get in here and clean up these edges and I'm going to use the nose of my saw. Okay, she ain't perfect, but she's getting there. Again, guys, remember I've said it before, these carvings are just an idea for those of you with small pieces and you just can't get large logs. I'm sure people are gonna be able to make these better, more accurate, more precise. That's good, do that, carve it better than me. There's no reason not to. Make it your own. My whole theory behind carving is be artistic be artistic you know the bears the owls the mushrooms you know you can make them look the same but if you paint them paint them different if you carve them carve them at different angle like make your art your own you do not have to copy my exact design as a matter of fact it's a good idea to take the idea and make it your own so people can tell your work apart from other people's work not just mine you know what i mean when you look at a carver who carves amazing masterpiece that i can't even compare to because their realism is just out of this world i don't carve that yet i'm not there i want to but i'm just not there you know it's all about having goals and striving to get better and better so just keep that in mind you know when you guys are starting out things will look rough and blocky and it's all about the time and detail once you get that design down though and you've perfected it you'll be able to knock it out so so quick so keep that in mind for price point and things as well let's clean this up all right so there is your heart guys pretty much done ready for sanding and paint you know nothing crazy what i am going to do is grab the die grinder and i'm actually going to clean this one up so don't go anywhere all right guys die grinder flame bit course bit saber tooth tools don't forget to use code hall 10 popping up right here okay get that discount and uh let's go for it
All right, guys, there it is. Just a nice, quick little heart. I mean, if I didn't talk so much, I'd have this done in like, what, six minutes? But, you know, just full of it today. Felt like talking a whole lot. Missed y'all. Haven't gone live in a while. Maybe I'll go live by the time this comes out. I don't know. Life's been crazy. We'll see what happens. So you gotta separate this from the base. Move that log up quite a bit. Now, if you cut the logs appropriately, we cut this base pretty short. We should be able to get one more heart out of there, okay? So let's uh, let's do that, see how it goes. All right, guys, so there's tricks here, okay? You can't see anything because of my camera being bad, badly angled. Okay, now you can grab this and keep sawing, but you gotta be really comfortable and really careful, because think about that, you're sticking your hand out over that bar, it might not be that safe, right? Um, you just just rip through it. We've got so many new people carving, and, and, and just, just rip through it. It hits the ground, it hits the ground. Okay? I've done it a few times where I just grab the piece as I cut it and you know what, whatever, I keep going and it just might not be the safest option for everybody. So just cut right through, let that piece hit the ground guys and just stay, stay safe. Right, so there you have it, another mini carving for the mini carving series we've been working on a little heart i mean they always come out different you know you do a practice one and it comes out a little bit different right neat sand them shoot them with some red paint pink purple green whatever you want to do hit them with the torch have it just burnt wood whatever whatever it may be just a reminder it's a good idea to remove that bark especially if it's going to be a piece you sell uh prior to carving mine everything is just frozen solid and the bark's just not peeling off right now um if the wood is cut winter time sub-zero temperatures the bark will stay on okay but if it's not and the sap's flowing it's gonna peel off anyway and so if it's a piece that you're you're carving to sell customers get upset when that bark comes off so just you know be mindful of that but hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it's helpful to those of you and uh, i'm gonna see what i can do about some more valentine's day carving videos we'll continue that mini series of carvings we've been doing for those of you on other parts of the world that just can't get any big logs so hope you guys enjoyed the video i know i talked a lot i really appreciate you tuning in though and hanging out give it a thumbs up hit subscribe keep an eye out make some sawdust and stay safe